Hi everyone, I'm making another soap again today, a uh, surprise, and today I'm going to be using um, an embed that I made, um, you might have seen this before in the previous video, this is a silicone mat that I put together, I used plastic, plasticine clay to make the negative of this before I poured the silicone, and this is the molten pour that I poured into this slab. So um, I'm cutting this into chunks to put on top of the latest soap called Pineapple Pizzazz and let's get started right away. Okay so everything's roughly at a hundred degrees and this is a combination of my oils. Um, goat milk, what else do I have in there? Kaolin clay, shea butter, um, and colloidal oatmeal. And this is my lye with silk. Also, some sodium lactate it makes a harder bar of soap, and I I really think that that helps um, my soap to unmold a little better. People were asking about that in my use of the silicone flat mold; they just kind of slip right out. Okay, so let's. Get that blended. And I don't remember this pineapple sage accelerating, so I'm just going to put that in there. Just blend till it's emulsified. Okay, let's get the colors in there. Show you the colors I have. I have um, some green with some titanium dioxide. I've got a some green with a little bit of black oxide, some two different kinds of yellow there, and a red with some orange in there. And let's get that poured. It's my yellow, red, light green, dark green, and I want more of all those colors except for the dark green. Okay, let me add some titanium dioxide to the main batch. Tilting the bowl when it's this shallow it makes me have a little deeper area so it doesn't just get a lot of bubbles in it. And let's see, I want the yellow next. This whole room smells like pineapple. Okay, here's my light green. And my dark green. Okay, I'm going to give everything in there a stir. Basically to get some bubbles out. I'm going to make sure it's nice and fluid. This is about the point in time where I decide, based on how thick the soap is, on what kind of pour it's going to be able to handle. And it is so liquid, I think I am going to do a drop swirl. I didn't really want broad swirls in this one because of the pineapple. To me, pineapple has a fine, uh, finer looking swirl. I don't know. It's still everything is workable. Perfect for a drop swirl. Let's get most of the white in first like a tiger stripe swirl. So let's see if I can do that. I haven't done that in a while. And I'm altering the colors. I'm putting, trying to put colors that will contrast more so I can get a lot of bang for the buck.
and making two passes of every pour. I have more yellow than anything else to represent the pineapple, so let me give that a little bit more. Dark green. And I used orange because there is orange in pineapple and the embeds that I'm wanting to put on top has orange in it too, so I want it to integrate. I'm not going in the same order with the colors, but I'll be fine as long as I put a different color on a different color. Every soap is unique, so if I was copying a soap, then I would be more of a stickler on the actual order of the colors. But this is whatever it turns out to be. As long as it looks nice, I'm going to be happy. And I want to remember to keep some of this color for the top. I haven't done a tiger stripe in a long time. Alright, let me put my embeds on. You can see that I've marked the side of the mold with a sharpie. There's the embed. Let's see, I probably put it on its side so you can see the details. Okay, so this is shredded glitter from Bramalberry. It has more of a interesting texture to it. And I'm also going to clean up the edges a little bit. And I'm going to face this a way that shows off the texture on top a little bit. A bit busy, but um, I think pineapples are kind of busy texture, especially the rind. And I'll be back for a cutting video. Alright, so there's a lot of soap to cut. and. Um, Again, I've shown how to how I make these soaps um, several times already. So um, this is the only one. This is the pineapple pizzazz that I did the making of today, and I'll be cutting that one last. And this is the newest version of uh, pineapple. <laughs> that's not pineapple. Of the lavender gems that I've made several times, and I'll try to find the pictures of the old versions, and I kind of spice it up a little bit every time. This time I added a little bit of orange, because I like orange and purple together. So some nice swirling in there. Like a little pinch of color. The top are gems of melt and pour, with the dusting of a little glitter. Thanks again, Jessica and Tanner at Crossroad Soap Tools. They made this one special for me. Okay, one more and that ought to do it. Still playing around with my camera angles and lighting in this new space. All right, so let's go on to the next one. There in the first piece that I cut, um, changed to a nicer purple already. Compare that to the newly cut ones that look almost gray. So I put an extra little dose of honey scent and the real thing. And this one. And this one has colloidal oatmeal in it also. Wanted 
to look like oatmeal. Okay, let me move on to the next soap, which will be the smaller version of this soap. And I put some tiger swirls in it. So this is a comm commission soap, and they wanted these as guest soaps, so I made them a little smaller. So these get cut a little more thinly. This is made in the tall, narrow soap mold. <laughs> I'm trying to find the soap in the viewfinder in the camera to make sure you can see it and kind of search for it. I think if I hold it just about right here, you can see it pretty well. Okay, let's move on to the leather jacket. Also didn't want to put as much black in it. I know it makes it more distinct, but a lot of people don't like the water turning black as they wash their hands. It smells just like leather. So that's it for this one. Um, I'll move on to the pineapple pizzazz. So again, this is pineapple pizzazz and it smells pretty incredible. So you can see my um, pineapple embed on top. There's the real top. And there's the side. I think it was a drop pour. Really study the colors of a pineapple for this one. Okay, and I made a smaller version of this one too. And let me cut some of that one for you. Let's do this. This was a tiger swirl also. Basically a drop swirl aimed in the same place all the way around. And there we go. I'll be cutting up the rest of these and taking photos and um, thanks for watching again. I've got another soap all lined up and see you soon. Bye.